Hey there everybody, welcome to my let's play for Aban Hawkins and the Thousand and One Spikes. The Temple of the Dead Mourns the Living. I don't think that's part of the official title, but that's neither here nor there. Today we're going to be jumping straight into this game. I'm going to be doing a let's play of the entire thing. This is going to be blind. I've never seen anything about this game before. There's actually a couple of minutes of footage of one of the later levels that I have seen, one of the levels towards... Uh, maybe it's in the first like third of the game that I've seen a little bit of so hopefully we'll lose one or two less lives when that comes about But basically what we're gonna be trying to do here is doing about 15 minute episodes at first I think that'll probably be large chunks of them You know a couple of levels at a time later on that might only be one level and I'll probably try and at least finish one level each time we record uh, I know there's a lot of levels here. I know there's a lot of content here. It's from one of my favorite ever developers Nicholas like every game I think that's how you say it Nicholas but it's one of my favorite developers uh I enjoy pretty much every game that's come out from this developer and they're a lot of fun uh Night Sky was a lot of fun and if you haven't checked out any of those other games I encourage you to do that but after you finish watching this amazing blind let's play that we're going to be doing a uh, new game there's some arcade modes that we'll be checking out later I've seen a little bit of gameplay of those I don't really know what's an extra uh, this is really cool actually because they break it down. I'm not playing on a standard controller I'm playing on a Logitech and they actually go through in that first menu and they show you like button two button three what you're hitting So that's actually really cool. You don't see that with a lot of different games. So that's pretty neat uh, Cliff and no way back looks like this is gonna be the first one that we're really starting up here and My friends are kind of shy press access two minus to talk to them stick around they may have a lot to say that's really cool they actually break down everything into how this controller works uh none and i reassigned the buttons i did reassign the buttons that's pretty much all i've done in this game because i like to have both jumps right next to each other and that's not how it was set up before so i don't know why none is high jump because that's not accurate We've got our dagger attack, we've got a regular jump, and a high jump. Now, I've never played this game before, like I said, in actual platforming scenarios. I'm a little concerned of how the high jump and regular jump being separated is for short jump, jump up one block. I I'm kind of concerned as to how that works. But we'll see. I mean, it seems to be working pretty well. As long as you can keep them all sorted out, I think it's probably a pretty useful mechanic. But it is weird to me that that's how they broke it down. Get the key and exit the door in each level. Simple, yeah? All right, move right along. I will do my best to move right along. You don't even have to press up. It just goes. Looks like we've autosaved. Rory kicking ass one minute in. And they do button one retry, it cuts off a little bit there. Uh, button two, it's, it looks like three, we can go to world map, see what we're doing, but it looks like there's also just a fast way through uh, to go there, and that's that's effectively the B button, so I'll stop hitting that. So this one jump, double jump, try and get wrap my head around this. Try high jump at the edge of the cliff above. Watch out for the hole below though. Yeah, it looks like a bad time. I don't want to be anywhere near that. Okay. This is kind of, it is a, it's more precision having them separated out into two buttons. So already so many spikes, so much death. Be careful. Watch your step. It's one of these things where I don't think the high jump from the cliff above is really going to do it for me. Oh wow. How do I just have reach those golden skulls? Oh, okay. He does talk to me. How do I? What the hell? Oh my god, now he won't, now he, he don't want to talk to me anymore. Speak to me! Ah, it's supposed to be good if you have a lot of those. Well, I would love to have a lot of those, but I don't really know. That's not. Maybe that block above falls down or something? That's not. They give you a little bit of warning when those things are gonna topple as well. So this guy have to say yeah better to move on if you can't get those skulls well, I'm, I'm not I'm no quitter does it just move automatically or can I fire or something I don't really I don't even know how to make these guys talk to me oh god that's probably can I I can't jump in the air either I wonder if I come at that from this music's jazzy as hell does this just auto scroll or what you can try again any time from the stage select later on. Do I get abilities or something though? Cause I, 
don't think that I do. Oh, balls! Are you serious? Oh my god. See, I'm a hoarder. I'm a... I have to collect everything. I'm kind of a completionist, so... Land right on at that time. I'm doing great. This is already can't miss action from an experienced platformer. That's the worst part is that I've done this before. I've done this a lot in my life. All right, we got to kind of keep this to a minimum here. All right, jump around there. This looks like you can do something to that. No, he's pushing right there and he's not doing anything. I can probably, oh, that's why it wants me to do it over because I can jump off of it while it's falling. Duh. Is there a quick retry? Next stage, button one is retry. All right, he's, and he walks back over. That's pretty great. All right, let's check this out. I'm gonna try this one more time. I'm probably not gonna do this for all of them, but I'm kind of, I just want, I want this first one. I want this perfect run that we're doing here. Hell yes. Skulls for days over here. Grab this key. Be on my merry way. That worked out okay. Oh, I overshot, overshot the door there by a little bit. All right, and you can just quick jump to the next stage, which is pretty good. Got a faster time there and everything. I'm doing great. So I was really worried about the controls. Watch it. The stairway spit poisonous spikes. Time your jumps carefully. Well, that's not good. I was a little worried about me getting used to this, you know, buy jump thing. You can shoot darts with your own weapon if you're quick. Okay. So you need a two there. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice effect. Oh, wow. There's one down there, too. I'll wait all day. That's fine. There are statue types that react to you and supposedly activate. Remember to keep them in mind. Oh, so... There could be some that try and kill me. Oh, hi there. Blocks like the one behind me can be pushed out of the way. Oh, okay. Oh, they got like little wheels on them and stuff. Okay. So I could... Oh, that key was blocking that spike too. Or that poison dart. Get out of this. There's a... Oh, there's a skull there. What the... Oh my god. I didn't even see that. Okay, we're fine. We're doing fine. It's starting this off right. We still got 999 lives. It's cool that they start you off with 1,001 as well. It's pretty neat. Wait that for that to go. You can push that. Yeah, I'm already getting used to that jumping. It does allow for a lot more control, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, I wussed out there at the last second. I was going to try and go the other way, though, and that did not work out for me. All right, I do have to get used, I'm kind of just using the two, and I obviously needed to use the one for that. And there's a switch there. This guy, <laughs> feel asleep. Uh, okay. Did that stop? No, it didn't stop that thing. Be aware, don't let your guard down. Try not to. Oh, so that's reacting to me. I gotcha, I gotcha, game. This game and I are on the same page. We're gonna be best friends in no time. So these skulls are already costing me precious lives. We got some friggin' pit vipers here, some scorpions. But before three attack, you have limited projectiles. Oh, so it's like a, was it like a, is it three shots? Is it just Mega Man? Yeah, it's three, okay. I, I don't know, that is taking some getting used to. Okay, just kill these freaking scorpions. They're not causing too much trouble. Oh, oh, they can get kind of fast. Probably don't get, they haven't said anything about getting anything for, just keep going even if it looks like a dead end. Oh, uh, they haven't said anything about, oh, that's a slow moving rock. Check out those old moving platforms. They haven't said anything about killing all the enemies being a thing, even though that's kind of the first enemy that I've seen. It's been more environmental from the beginning of this game. Just keep right on going. That doesn't see, whoa, oh, goodness gracious. So does that, that seems to react to me because there doesn't look like there's, was there a skull in that? Oh, God damn it. It showed me at the top there. There was one, it was weird. It was one of those blocks that seems to fall. So I don't know why I got curious. Oh no, we're checking this game out. That's what, oh, I should just jump. Yeah, okay. I'm getting, I'm kind of getting used to this jump scheme. It's, it's a little weird. I wonder if they see you, if they like heat seek or what. Like, is that guy gonna... No, he's not coming at me at all. 
Oh, it's when you hit them. That's when they get upset. All right, so we'll keep going through here. I didn't see a skull in this stage, though. It also looks like if you finish the stage, you seem to get a life back, so that's good. I'll wait for this to come back over here. I don't know, I don't feel like I want to do any precision jumps. Like, I don't feel like doing just a single high jump or anything is really advan- or a single small jump is super advantageous or anything right now. So I don't see any skulls here. I don't really know what that's about. Ah ha ha! I knew there was something about that rock. Alright, I gotta I got time this though. Yeah, boy! Let's get this going. Oh, the skulls are providing me with the one-ups. I thought it was finishing the stages. Alright, let's do this. Hey, man, we're just going right on with this. Uh, let's, yeah, let's do one more. And that might be it for this episode. Keep this one a little short to bring you guys in, to draw you in. Don't let your guard down. Always be on the lookout. That seems ominous, so I want to do a small jump there. Oh. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay. Stay focused. Oh, I wanted to do C L. I'm probably gonna blame that every time I die. Just be like, oh no, this this jump scheme is all messing me up. I'm way better than this. So some of them are proximity. Some of them are just they just go. Kill that thing. So I don't think there are any other collectibles or secrets because it just shows the one skull basically. I gotta get both of these though. How am I? Oh, this was a bad idea. I thought I- yeah, yeah, I should, uh... I don't know, I think getting these is gonna be the worst thing for me. I high jumped there too, and I really shouldn't have. Alright, we'll get through there. Impatience is gonna be a problem for me too. Kill that thing. Ooh, turns around too. So I wanna be like this, and then this, and then this. Nope, no, nope, that falls way faster. That guy falls quick. So I want to jump on him in order, probably, and then go through. I like this, though. It's pretty much just, you know, a puzzle game with a lot of death in it. Go through this. Maybe these, these, I think these must, well, maybe they're not timers. I'm not sure. I can jump that. Oh, damn it. <sighs> okay, we're losing a lot of lives here. These stupid skulls, I'm telling you, they're going to be, they're going to be my main problem here. I think... It's important to figure out if they're all proximity or not, or if they're on a timer. These two are obviously timers. These other ones, I think, are proximity. Let's try and just do this. No, no. Oh, I should have high jumped there. See, this jumping thing ruining my life. All right, we can get this. Oh, if you get the skull, you get the extra life immediately? Is that what happened there? Because I thought I was close to dead. I seem to be okay now. So I'm doing this for the precision jumping here, but then I need to have my finger on this high jump. Oh! It's all timing, so even just little jumps like that completely depend on if you use the small jump or the high jump. So that's like a very important part of the whole process. I mean, it's it's almost part of the puzzle right there. is Because you need to use the small jump to get to that last one, because if you use the high jump, then you don't... And then you high jump off of it. Oh, wow. If you're stuck, open the menu and retry. Oh, damn it. I can't get the key now. Oh, wow. Retry stage, does that cost you a life, though? Yes, it does. Maybe we will save this skull until next time. And next time will be me triumphantly grabbing this skull... Whoa, whoa, oh no, that was not good. It was cool, but it wasn't good. Oh boy. I loved VVVVVV. That was a great game. Died a lot in that one too, so this is not uncharacteristic. That was all me pressing the wrong button. Now I'm just getting up in my own head about this. Because I'm trying to figure out, I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing, because I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get this damn skull. Can I ride that first one just all the way down and then... I don't think I can. And then just high jump it? Nope, because that falls down way slower. Damn it. 
I do need to do that though. Like right when that. Okay, it's all about timing. I've I've been thinking, I've been going about this the wrong way. It's all about timing. I think. Yeah, that was, as just bad timing. Spe speaking of, 994 lives already throwing them all away. I wouldn't call this like I don't want to call this an all skull run because I don't know if I can deliver on that promise. But we'll see. Maybe I can go back and rename the videos. Nope. Should have done a small jump. If I had small jumped and then high jumped, that would have been fine. So that's it. That's what we do. I figured it out. I figured it out. I'm basically the best at everything ever. And we got this going right now. Kill that thing. Jump. I probably could have waited a little bit longer on triggering this one too. Damn, oh man, I did have to wait just a second more, just a second more. It even just straight up tells you that you're getting a one up there. All right, I got this, I got this. This is my time. Got a little too excited, got a little too excited. Threw it away, threw it away a little bit. Maybe we should come back for the skulls at a later date. Maybe that's the play. Kill that thing. I guess it depends on how- I guess I'm worrying too much about the future. I need to worry about getting this stupid skull right now. Yep. Yep. That was all my fault. That was all my fault. I apologize. I assume this is the named character, but you can't assume anything. I think there's story to this thing, but you know, right now they just kind of drop you into it. I mean, it's the first time that I picked it up, so. So maybe I jump here and then do this and then little, little, what you bastard? Why won't he, why is he not jumping? <sighs> I feel like I'm doing that Super Mario frustration video right now. It's a great, that's still one. I watch that sometimes if I'm feeling blue. It's still, still one of the funniest things ever. All right, this thing's gonna go, this guy's going. Yep. No, oh, I'm just a pile of garbage. Just a big old garbage pile. All right, we're fine. Everything's fine. Go through this part. Gotta wait for this stupid scorpion to go. Jump, kill this. All right, here we go. The timing on this though, I'm still not super sure of. So that is probably not it. Why'd I do that again? I don't know. It is hard to go back and forth, switch between the buttons. I understand that it's like a precision thing and you can't really have it be floaty or whatever. Well, it's part of the fact, it's part of the thing that is making this a puzzle game and not really a adventure platformer or an action platformer. I mean, it is a puzzle game because of the separation of those two buttons. That completely makes it more puzzle than anything else. That was wrong. That was absolutely wrong. Blind Let's Plays. I mean, I'm gonna play this game regardless, so I figured I might as well film it and put it up, but this is already becoming really sad. Kill this thing. It's frustrating, like, you gotta get the timing on this just right. I think right here. No, it's, that's not it. Need to be sooner on that. Like, I wish I could be a little bit quicker here, but this scorpion comes at just the wrong time for that. I could probably just avoid that scorpion by and large, but. All right, this is fine. Nope, it's not fine. I need to wait longer. This is really just starting to get to me now. I had it, I just needed to hit the button and now I've thrown the timing away completely. I wonder how close you have to be, or maybe you have to be moving forward to use that little dash attack. Oh, you jerk. You jerk. That might have been too early anyway. Well, maybe early's okay. And I think I could probably kill that scorpion all in one hit if I utilized the dash attack, but I'm not really 100% sure how that dash triggers or what exactly that does. That's too... That was wrong. I gotta, I should have paid more attention to the timing. No, cause you can't dash in the air. I would have to 
get like my baby toe on that rock in order to jump around that scorpion. Yeah, because he's going to come pretty quickly. Oh, you can do it in the air. I wonder what I did that first time that was wrong. Jump on this. That's This is not right either. Can I do this though? Probably not. No, you don't have enough time to get that and jump back over. Do I not have to let it down at all though? Maybe that's a problem. Ah, okay, see we're getting the hang of this. We're gonna be pros at this game in no time. Maybe I can just ride this to, no, that's not, that's not doable. There we go, God bless. That's probably a fake wall up there because you can see some, okay, I just gotta live. It's good to carefully scout complicated traps from a safe area. There are no safe areas in this game. What are you talking about? All right, so I can jump on this and then I need to be just booking it to the left here. One jump. What's this guy have to say? All right, remember what you went through. You're on your own, buddy. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, damn it. At least I didn't die. So I have to wait for that to get within reach so that I can... Okay, so I'm booking it to the left, booking it to the left, waiting. Still moving to the left for some reason. Little tiny jump. And it's always the two. It doesn't matter how you hit it. So I would have died back there if I had just done the other one. So we got wait. There we go. Oh, there it is. There it is. 15 minutes on the dot. I'm great at this. Color change unlocked because I'm so good. Let's world map it. Uh, okay, I don't know how you... Button one is change color. Ah, I bet this looks a lot better. I bet I messed them up with using a weird controller. All right, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. We are playing 1001 Spikes. That's what we're doing. I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching this episode. I'll be back soon with the next episode. And, you know, just thanks for checking this out. I know this is a really popular game. A lot of people are covering it, and I appreciate you hanging out with me while we play through it. We'll be getting through this, hopefully. <laughs> it's already frustrating, but look at all these beautiful skulls that we have here. Look at them all. We're doing great. We're doing amazing. Tw what, 22 dead? Oh, no. That's just terrible. That's, that's really cool. They've got the four out of 30. Zero skip. So I guess you can skip levels. I don't really know why you would do that. But And then you're going through areas as well, it looks like. So this game seems like it's going to have a lot going on for it. I'm really excited to get more into the meat of it and play it a lot more. Uh, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time.